Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to discuss a little bit of salvage. Now I know I'm a little bit behind in getting some update videos out, especially when it comes to like some of the new features and stuff, but I did want to go over this and give my opinions of what I think the new feature is going to be like and where they might be going with this. Uh, the video was really cool. I was excited to see it. I think they're definitely going in the right step. Um, Right now, 3.19.1, the game actually seems to be playing pretty good the last couple of weeks. I've noticed the occasional 30Ks are starting to kind of filter back. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe more people are starting to jump back on because it is running smoother. But I want to play the little salvage clip that they showed. And then I'd like to give you kind of where I think they're going. I want to tell you where I'm having the best look salvaging, where I'm making the most money, and how... Um, we're doing it. Jess has been playing a lot of uh, salvaging with me. And yeah, I'll give you some insights on where we are making the best money. So uh, let me get that clip going for you right now. But what we're going to do on this week's show, the first of our quarter three shows where things are a little bit different, we are going to look at a feature at the absolutely earliest stage. This is earlier than we've ever shown any feature ever, the prototype phase. Uh, what we're about to show you is not going to look good. It's not going to look pretty. Uh, it's going to be weird poppy and, and buggy. So we're just warning you ahead before you, know, you take the footage and, and, and put it in your YouTube videos. Uh, what is the prototype that we're going to look at right now, Jacob? We're going to be looking at the prototype for uh, munching, the next tier of salvage. The idea being we need some way to take apart a larger ship and break it into little pieces so that you can then pick it up in your salvage ships gain some material from that and you'll be able to sell that later but we're going to be looking at just the breaking a ship apart phase which is what we're prototyping here all right so i got it queued up here let's take a look at this here so obviously this is a vulture approaching a gladius yep um so for the prototype we've added in a new munching mode sub mode to salvage so all of that hull scraping ui has disappeared uh, and we're going down to just what we need for this prototype, which is the ability to break a part of the ship, uh, which at the moment is going to look exactly the same as if you blew it up with your guns, but in future that would look rather different. What's happening right here? I see the bar filling up on the left. Okay. Nothing's so, happening with the ship. Yeah, so this is the, the placeholder for the actual gameplay that would happen here. Okay. The design will have some actual gameplay for what you have to do as a player to break the ship apart. But we put in that little placeholder, which is just essentially a timer, a progress bar, based on how big the target is. And, uh, and that is actually on, on purpose, because the, the question that we are asking in this prototype are more technical. That means that we don't have, we shouldn't focus on the gameplay aspect, so we should keep the gameplay as minimal or as simple as possible and then uh, so that we can fully focus on the technical bits of, of the prototype. Okay, so we saw it we, we saw it broken into some, you know, what looked like normal debris, but now we gotta break it into smaller, munchable stuff. So we'll go back to the video here. So breaking it into normal debris is stuff that you've seen before, but when we have this bigger part, it doesn't come apart into more pieces naturally. So in this prototype, we are uh, just deleting the thing and replacing it with loads of tiny little placeholder pieces to act as the munched apart debris. Uh, what you're also seeing is a prototype for how you will get those pieces into your cargo, which is a little suction field that grabs those little pieces, drags them towards the grinder in the mouth of the vulture, and from there they're converted into cargo. Those little pieces that we saw are obviously uh, not and anything. I want to remind people again, we've, we've literally never shown anything in a prototype phase before, phase before, so forgive me for reiterating this two or three more times before we're done here. This is designer art, just small pieces to, re to represent the kind of the mass and the, and the size of, of stuff yes. that we might be using. It's even worse, it's Coda art. Yes, indeed. This is this is the programmer equivalent of a white box test uh, where I'm not even qualified to make white boxes. So I just rip off other assets that I found in the engine uh, and just slap them together. So that's what this is. And obviously, without being a prototype, there's no VFX. There's no explosions. There's no beams. There's none, none of the things that would mask this transition that would normally happen, you know, so that you don't see the, the pieces just... Uh, just pop in, you know, like, like, like they're currently doing. Okay, so like you saw, 
pretty cool. I know it's still in early development and there's no telling what they're going to do with it or if even it'll end up in the game. You never know with CIG, right? That could be two years from now, who knows? But it was pretty cool to see. It's something that I don't see them doing a lot, especially that early in production, especially when it's just like little pieces of whatever it was in the game that they were using for the salvage. But it's going to be pretty cool if it's something that actually gets into the game soon, right? So real fast, let's go through some stuff on salvage. So is salvage actually a money maker right now? It can be. It can definitely get you some good funds, especially if you're looking for more of a relaxing type, you know, missions and stuff like that. Um, right now we have the legal, we have the illegal, we have like player salvage where, you know, if you find just ships around, just laying around or whatever that people have left. Usually they leave their shields on. In my experience, I have not gotten the chance to do a lot of like player salvage ships for whatever reason. It seems like they're still powered up when they're not even in the game. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but hopefully that changes in the future where if they actually leave the server or something and the ship's still there, we'll be able to do something with it. But let's see. The best money that I have gotten in the game so far is doing beacon. So you do moderate beacons and you usually end up with two Valkyries. And two Valkyries gives you a pretty good haul in the Vulture. High will be better if you can get a low tier high, somewhere around the 100k range, maybe a little less, maybe like sometimes the highs are like in the 90s, 80 to 90s. If you can grab one of those and it has one hammerhead, you take that hammerhead down and with the Valkyrie or maybe an Andromeda and the Hammerhead, that is a good salvage load. Especially, you know, you rip out the guns and stuff like that. You just have to make sure the AI is not around or the AI has been destroyed because they will destroy the ship and take it out of soft death. Now, you can keep salvaging even when it's not in soft death, so it doesn't really affect it if you're salvaging but just something to watch out for. Don't be inside the ship or trying to take guns off when the ship explodes because there's a good likely chance you'll die. So co-op is a lot of fun with salvaging. Um, I will have a video in the description. It's a lot of fun. Um, Jess and I have been doing it quite a bit. It's kind of been our little side money maker to relax in the evenings. But salvaging is going to be, I think, probably one of the bigger game loops if they continue to add these little things to it. Mining is great and all, but man, I just feel like there's so much more risk with mining. And the reason I say that is because you mine it, then you have to get back to your hangar, then you have to refine it. Then when you refine it, you have to put it on your ship and transport it again. And I just feel like there's, you know, reward versus what you make and the time that you spent dollar per hour. I feel like just loading up the SMC, you know, the SMC with the with the salvage ship is a lot easier than and just taking it and selling it at the city than it is trying to, you know, mine and refine and then. But I know everybody has their favorite game loops. I think I'm just a little partial to the salvage game loop. I really hope they add some features into salvage that are kind of like the shipbreaker. If you've never played that, give that game a look. It's really cool. And it, it ends up being like a puzzles at the end almost, but you can cut a ship into pieces however you want. I mean, it would be really cool to be able to cut the ship, tractor those pieces, and then like throw it into the vulture or throw it into the front of the reclaimer. That would be a very cool salvage feature and like it would increase the playability of like the co-op in it, right? But yeah, guys, that's really all I have for you on salvage. It is a money maker still at this time. I think the best dollar per hour outside of salvage is doing the beacons. If you do the beacons back to back in a group of like two or three, you're just not going to make any better money than that. I mean, you get a 200K high bounty and you have two of y'all. Y'all take the ships down. That's 100K each. And you can usually do it pretty fast if y'all are both in like two andromedas and working together or something like that or or any of the bigger ships that that can pack a punch right um corsairs and things like that but yeah guys uh thanks for sticking around didn't want to make this video too long just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on where salvage is at i hope some of it helped i hope if you're looking for a different way to play salvage you can take a couple a look at the videos below the legal salvage missions are fun co-op as well. You just don't have the big profit there because you have to pay such a large fee up front. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Thanks for the support as always, and I will see you on the next video.